Now the first step to creating a Chrome extension is to write the manifest file. The manifest file is a special file that contains information about the Chrome extension. And the manifest is a JSON formatted file. And at the bare minimum, the manifest must contain the manifest version, the name of the extension, and the version of the extension. So let's start off with that. Now I have created a new folder called Chrome extensions on my desktop and created a new folder Hello World within that. And I have opened the same Hello World with Visual Studio Code. Now you can choose any editor of your choice, but for this series, I'm going to stick to Visual Studio Code. Now within the Hello World folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this manifest.json. And within this, we start off with a pair of curly braces. The first thing we need to mention is the manifest version. So manifest underscore version. And this is going to be two. And the current version is two. And unless Google updates it, don't try to change this. The next thing we need to specify is a name for our extension. So I'm going to, I'm just going to name this as hello world. And we need to specify a version for our extension. So version is going to be 1.0. This needs to be in quotes as well. So 1.0. Now, if you make any changes to the extension, you can release it to the Chrome Web Store with version 1.1, 1.2, 2.0, 2.1, and so on, mentioning what new features or the, what, what the changes were. Now, these are the basic necessities for the manifest file. And after this, we can optionally have a description for our extension. So description, did I spell that right? Description, yeah. And this is going to be a hello world extension. That's it. And we can also specify the icons that represent our extension in the toolbar or in the web store. And Google recommends that we provide three icons of different sizes, namely 128 by 128, 48 by 48, and 16 by 16, so that it can choose the right icon depending on where it has to display our extension. So we're going to specify icons, and this is going to be an object. So if it is 128, we are going to specify that our icon 128.png. Now we don't have these extensions right now, but I will create them uh, in the next video maybe. So 128 by 128, we also need to specify an icon for 48 by 48. So we'll just have this as icon 48.png. And we also need to have a 16 by 16 icon. So if the dimension is 16 by 16, we are going to instruct it to use icon 16.png. Okay. Now, the next step, or the final step, we need to specify that our extension is a browser action extension. So, within codes, we say browser underscore action, which is going to instruct to Chrome that our extension is a browser action extension. And this is going to have a default icon. And we're going to have this to be icon 16.png. Basically what the icon is going to show up in the toolbar. And we are also going to have a default pop-up. So when you click on our extension, what should be the pop-up? And this is going to be an HTML file pop-up dot html and that's pretty much it we have our manifest ready for loading our extension so in the next video let us create this pop-up dot html